patients say it feels kind of like a bad sunburn. But it's really a way to fight cancer by heating up the tumors. Dr. Joe shows us just how it works. A recent study shows that heating up cancer cells can help fight tumors. Soccer team's Dr. Joette Javinko joins us now to show it just how it, shows how it works. Dr. Thanks, Joe? Kath. Thanks, Kathy and Denise. The treatment is called hyperthermia radiation. It basically combines heat with the more traditional treatment of radiation. Russ Wardell developed a dangerous form of skin cancer called spindle cell carcinoma. It blossoms in one place, it could blossom in a dozen places at one time. But other medical conditions made it too risky to undergo surgery. I can't go into, under anesthesia. I may not come back out of it. It's going to be warm to the touch, but it won't be hot. Russ turned to hyperthermia radiation. The radiation doesn't hurt at all. Uh, the heat treatment gets like a bad sunburn. So there's a pain to it, but it's not a terrible pain. The combination technique heats up cancer cells before the patient goes through radiation. Heat kills cells. Cancer cells aren't necessarily powerful, potent cells. They're tricky cells, but they're weak cells. So when they're heated, they have a tendency to die a lot easier than the normal cells do, actually. Dr. Jerry Sokol is with the New Hope Cancer Center in Hudson. Earlier this year, a study in the Journal of Clinical Oncology showed turning up the heat on tumors reduced the size of breast, chest wall, head, neck, and skin cancers in both newly diagnosed patients and those who had the disease recur. The benefit is, is, is really quite significant clinically and statistically. I'm very comfortable with the thing and obviously we were very happy about it. Russ is happy with his results. What was a large growth is now only a scab. That's expected to disappear. In more recent studies, patients with recurring cancer who had already undergone radiation showed some of the best results. Nearly three times as many patients on combined treatment experienced full tumor shrinkage compared to those who only received radiation.